This is one of the premier events you will see at these NCAA champions. You look at championships, you look at this field. Dressel, Held, both Olympians. Peroni also an Olympian. American records galore in this event. And again, you throw Brown Becker in there who seems like a wild card. All he's got to do is come off again and we've got an, an another surprising result. And we'll see how this field shapes up. Everyone on their feet for this event. They're excited for what they're about to see. We'll hand it off to the men of the hour. Championship A final in the 50 freestyle. Come here. And Dressel out with the fastest start again. Hopper in lane eight is also looking good, but, but it's Dressel all the way. 848. He's for the first 25, up. and he has a body length on the field. Caleb Dressel, the world at his feet, and it, he is 17.63, coming home in a 9.1. Faster going out, he somehow dropped another two tenths off of his time. That is incredible. People with hands on their heads, they can't even process what just happened. He has officially broken the sound barrier in swimming, a 17.6 for the champion. He is a full second ahead of Ryan Held in second. Ryan Held with a phenomenal swim, 18.6 to pick up second for the Wolfpack, but oh my goodness, where do you even begin to start? I'm, I'm speechless, Andrew. I was, I was not expecting that sort of swim. 19.1, that is most people's. First 25, and that was Dressel's second. He made his name as a freshman winning it, winning the event in an 18.66. He's dropped a full second over four years in one of the toughest events to do it in. He's made it his own, and it's a wonderful swan song for a senior going out on top at least in this event. We'll see what else he can do for the remainder of the meet, but wow, what a statement.